Have you ever seen the movie Good Morning Vietnam with Robin Williams? In that movie, an army base had Williams' character work as a radio DJ, and his personality had everyone on the base laughing, except, of course, his supervisors, who wanted to have him transferred. Have someone do something. Have someone doing something and have something done. By the end of this podcast, you'll have learned six different ways to use have in the causative. Let's discuss. Welcome to another Happy English Podcast coming to you from New York City. And here's your English teacher, Michael. All right. Thank you, John, and thanks, everyone. It's Michael here from Happy English, and I help people speak English better. And this is Happy English Podcast, episode 706, Six Causative Forms of Have. Have is an interesting verb in English, and my goal for today's lesson is to have you understanding Six different ways to use have in the causative form. Let's get the ball rolling. First of all, you can have someone do something. The pattern is have followed by a person followed by a base verb. You can say things like she had me go or let's have Jack do it. The meaning is to ask or arrange for someone to do something for you. When you want someone to do a job for you and you ask them or arrange for them to do it, we say that you have them do it. Check out this example. Let's have Jenny run the training workshop. This is the same as saying, Let's ask Jenny to run the workshop. Here's another example. I want to have Sam paint the kitchen. He did such a great job when we had him do the living room for us last year. You can also have someone doing something. The pattern is have, followed by a person, followed by an ing. You know, a gerund. You can say things like, she had me laughing, or the boss had us working hard. The meaning is to cause a person to be doing something. Here are some other examples. The comedian had us laughing for the entire performance. During tax season, The accounting manager has everyone in the office working overtime. You can also use have when you cause something to happen to someone. The pattern is have followed by a person followed by a past participle verb. You can say things like have her promoted or have him transferred. For example, Once the boss got proof that Johnny was stealing money from the company, he had Johnny arrested. The company is unable to fire David because of his contract, so the boss had him transferred to a branch office in the countryside. By the way, can you imagine having your English boosted to the next level? Isn't that your dream for 2024? If that's the case, then you definitely need to listen to the All Ears English podcast to learn how to connect in English. There, you can hear energetic, fun conversation with my friends Lindsay, Michelle, and Aubrey. They focus on connection, not perfection. Human connection through English. The All Ears English Podcast has 1.3 million followers on Apple Podcasts and Spotify worldwide, and they have been ranked number one in U.S. education language courses in Apple. 
All you need to do is open your search bar right now, type in All Ears English, and hit follow. Then you'll get new episodes four days a week, and they will have you speaking better English in no time. Next, you can have something done. The pattern is have, followed by a thing, followed by a past participle verb. You can have your house painted or have your car serviced. When you have something done, you pay someone to do the job for you. Here are some examples. I have my hair cut once a week at Rocky's Barbershop downtown. Do you know where I can have my watch repaired? This same pattern can also be used to talk about experience. You can have something happen to you. For example, I had my wallet stolen while I was on a crowded subway. They unexpectedly had their flight canceled due to bad weather, causing a delay in their travel plans. Ken had his leg broken in a skiing accident. And finally, you can also have something happening. The pattern here is have, followed by something, and then an ing. For example, when we checked on the summer house after the storm, we discovered that we had water leaking from the ceiling in the living room. It was so nice that Vicky came with her kids yesterday. It was great to have children playing in the backyard. Keep in mind, the best way to remember this and any other grammar pattern is to take the word or phrase, write it in a sentence that's true for you or true in your world, and then memorize your sentences. Well, that's it for this English Lesson Podcast. I'm so glad to have you listening today. By the way, if you'd like to get more practice using your English, why don't you join my podcast learner's study group? There, you can make new friends, join me for live group coaching every week, plus get the PDF transcript and audio download for every Happy English podcast in the past and in the future. And each episode has exercises where you can practice this English point with speaking and writing checked by me. To learn more or to see some of the example sentences from this lesson, just visit myhappyenglish.com and choose Podcast Lesson 706. Remember, Learning another language is not easy, but it's not impossible, and I'm here to help you on your journey. This podcast was brought to you by Happy English. Please visit myhappyenglish.com. Show your support for Happy English by leaving us a review. Get English. Get happy. Happy English.